morning. My name is uh, Malin Holmquist and um, today um, we are going to practice a uh, Ashtanga Vinyasa, uh, about 75 minutes or so practice and uh, the peak pose of today is Asha Prakrasana, the eighth angle pose and um, the story goes that um, the sage uh, Ashta uh, Ashta uh, that's the eight. You have to excuse me for my Sanskrit. Uh, when he was in his room, in his mother's room, um, his father got really angry at him because uh, he was reciting the Vedas and uh, he wasn't doing a very good job. And dad thought that Ashtavakra um, was laughing at him and he cursed him to become an Ashtavakra. A, a like an eight uh, cross. So when he came out, he was broken in eight places. And then you know life carried on, and he became a, a scholar and um, was doing this. Um, what do you call it? Like a like a competition about you know signing the villas, and he did a really really good job. And his dad then became proud of him and uh, forgave him for laughing, and then he became whole again. That is the story behind Ashtanga Krasana. Um, so that is the peak pose of the day. As always, when we practice, um, when we step onto the mat, we let the breath be our guide. It tells us where we are each day, each moment. And um, we uh, also honor that. We know when to push. We know when, when we need to, to pull back a little bit. And um, everything that I say and do is going to be optional. As always, so chai is there for you when you need it uh, to take those extra breaths. Uh, obviously, if the poses that doesn't resonate with you today, you just leave them out. Simple as that. Uh, also, to give you a little bit of a heads up, so on Saturdays I'm teaching following the yogi, and uh, that is going to be we're going to play off of today's um, sequence. So we're going to take it on Saturday with Ashtavakrasana and see how we can transition um, in a different fun way. So that's an advanced class. Uh, I guess this is too, but um, in a different way. All right, so let's come into a seat. How I that might look like for you. Uh, I love to start in Sukhasana, keeping my shoulders stacked on my hips, letting my hands rest to the knees, draw breath in through the nose, open mouth, let it go. And listening to your breath. Taking that opportunity to check in both physically, emotionally, where you are this morning. Let it go to what was in the past and what is coming. And then transition to the Ujjayi Pranayama, sealing your lips, breathing in and out through the nose. Find that light contraction at the back of the throat. Keep your inhale and your exhale the same way. Find the engagement into the pelvic floor, your mula bandha. Draw the navel in towards your spine, your udayana bandha. Mm -hmm. 
and then open up your eyes and just extend your feet out in front of you. So come to the front side of the sit bones, toes pointing straight up and you feel your bandhas, hands by your sides. So you sort of puff the chest out a little bit and the next day you start folding as much as you can. Just be mindful of your hamstring and breathe. The gaze is just slightly in front of your toes. Feel how your shoulder blades are sliding down your back, moving the ears away from your heart. Two more just like this. One more. And then inhale, come all the way up. And take your hands behind your bend your knees so the fingertips are pointing uh, to the back of the mat. You feel hip width apart, inhale, lift your hips up, coming into a reverse tabletop. Again, be mindful of pressing to the knuckle, and you can look straight up, we breathe. One more. The next side, lower down, take a seat. Keep the feet the same way, but you, you uh, flip your hands so the fingertips are pointing forward. So we're going to take the breath up. We're going to lift your hips, come back into the reverse, reverse table, and exhale, you're going to slide your hips between your hands. Belly in, press them out away from you. Inhale, rise back up, reverse table. Exhale, slide it back. Your hips are hovering over the mat. Belly in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come back. Hovering Dandasana. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slide it back. One more. Really warming up the shoulders, the core. And then come into the seat. Cross your ankles, fold over onto your hands and knees. Coming into Adho Mukha Svanasana. Make sure the fingers are spreading wide and grounding in through the palms. Heels are reaching back. Pressing the mat away from you. Hips are nice and high. One more breath. Inhale, lift your heels off the mat. The next day, let your heels fall over towards the right. So you're coming onto the outer part of your right foot and the inner part of your left. Press evenly into both hands and move the heart towards your uh, to your feet. So you're feeling the stretch into the back side on the left side, your IT band, the hamstrings, a lot of things. You're still breathing. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, heels over towards the left. Same thing. Evenly pressing in. Hips are lifting nice and high. Feeling the stretch into the right side. Rolling your armpits in. Inhale, come back up through center. And then walk your feet forward. Coming into Uttanasana, forward fold. And let's just hang here. And shake your head. Yes and no. And let's start rolling up along your spine. Coming in to Samastiti. Sarai so Namaskar. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Pause to gather gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet into high plank, hold it here, heels are reaching back, hips are neutral, and then press the mat away from you, so you're feeling the protraction of the shoulder blades. Gaze looks slightly in front of you. Bend your knees on the exhale, hold well, out your knees, your elbows, your other knees. Inhale, press the mat away from you, come to the tops of the feet, roll the shoulder blades back, heart moves forward. Exhale, lift your hips downward facing dog. We take five breaths. 
Exhale for one. Belly in. Exhale for two. The dog is strong. Exhale for three. Exhale for two. Exhale for one. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. You just step hop, float, take your feet forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands by your side. Samastiti. Inhale, Ardha Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Exhale, for one. Exhale, for two. Exhale, for three. Exhale, for four. Exhale for five. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands by your side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Feel every transition nice and controlled. Exhale, forward. Exhale, for two. Exhale, for three. Exhale for four. Exhale for five. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, hands by your side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, shudder on the hook. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adh Mukha. Exhale, fold on. Exhale, fold two. Exhale for three. Exhale for four. Exhale for five. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, float your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arm comes up. Take your hands by your side. One last time. Bring your arms up by the knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, shoulder run. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Breathe. Exhale, for one. Broaden over your shoulder blades. Exhale for two. Exhale for three. Exhale for four. Exhale for five. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, float your feet forward. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, arm comes up. Samasthiti. So right now, let's try be. Big toes together. Bend your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Left heel down, right foot forward. Inhale, Durga Drasana. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel down, left foot forward. Inhale, Durga Drasana. Exhale, Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. You may stay down dog, regular. Or if you want a more of a shoulder opener, come down to the forearms. Keep pressing into the forearms, heels reaching back, belly in. Move the heart to the toes. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, come back up onto your hands. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, float your feet forward. Inhale, Arga Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Samasthiti. Bend your knees, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Right foot forward, inhale, Warrior One. Exhale, hand comes down, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Vera One, left foot forward, inhale, Pix One. Exhale, Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha. Come down to the forearm, good, good. One, two, three, Four. And five. Come back on, onto your hands. Lift the heels, bend your knees, step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Come to standing. Samasthiti. Bend the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Virabhadrasana, one. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot forward. Inhale, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, hand comes down, Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Again, come down to the forearms. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. Come back up onto your hands. Lift the heels, bend your knees, step forward. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. 
come to standing. We have two more Surai Namaskar bees. Bend the knees. Inhale, chin. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga. Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Right foot forward. Inhale, girl. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hand comes down. Chaturanga. Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Come back onto your forearms. Exhale, forward. Exhale, foot two. Exhale, foot three. Exhale, foot four. Exhale, foot five. Come back onto your hands. Lift the heels, bend your knees, come forward. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, Uttanasana. Bend your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Come to standing. Samasthiti. One last time. Bend the knees. Inhale, chill. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Viradhadrasana one. Chaturanga. Upward. Exhale, downward. Viradhadrasana one. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Dog. Come down to your forearms. And breathe. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Come back up onto your arms. Take a breath in through the nose. Open mouth. Let it go. Keep your feet hip with apart. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. These fingers round your big toes. Inhale, lift the length of Padagustasana. Exhale, fold. Belly in. Look between your legs. Chin to chest. Rock weight into the balls of the feet. Hips comes over your ankles for five. Four. Feel your bandhas. Three, two, and one. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Parahasasana, hands under your feet. Lift and lengthen again. Rock yourself forward, belly in. Exhale, fold. So you're really using the bandhas and your hands to pull yourself down. Four, five. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, lift and let them let go of your hands and then walk your hands back to downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right leg up and then bend your knees, stack your hip open. And you see if you can lift your knee as high as possible. Press evenly into both hands. You're opening up into the groin and the hamstring. Maybe you feel it in your calf. Even. Moving the heart to the toes of your left foot. One more. And then extend your foot to the back of the mat. Exhale, knee to nose. Shift forward, round your back. Dome your upper back. All right, so we squeeze it. We've been here so many times. Press the mat away from you for five. Four. Three, two, 
and one. Inhale, lift and lengthen three legged. Exhale, knee to the chest, step your foot through between your hands and lower your left knee in the top of the foot down. Right, untuck the toes. Right, draw your right hip back, shift your hips forward. We're just going to stay here for a couple of breaths. And then eventually you will take your hand up onto the knee and lift to the chest. So you keep sinking the hips forward. The gaze stays to the tip of the nose and then bring your left hand up. Take your hand between the shoulder blade. So either you take your right hand to the elbow and then just lift and lean back or your left, right hand's going to come behind if you connect your fingertips. So you're more than welcome to use the strap here. Now start pressing the head into the arm and then shift forward, lift through the heart, opening up into the shoulder with breathe five, four, three, two, and one, release, let it go, frame your foot, shift back, arm to hand, pull over the front leg, another five breaths, so five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, come forward, step into high plank, chaturanga, urdhva mukha, Exhale, lift your hips, Adi Mukha. Right, lift your left leg. And do the same thing here, stack your hip open. Try to lift your knee as high as possible. Press evenly into your hands, moving the heart to the right toe and breathe. Opening up into the inner thigh, hamstring. Yeah. I feel it in the inside of my calf as well, on my right side. Breathe. One more. Extend your left foot, square the hips, exhale, knee to chest. Come forward, all right, dome your upper back, squeeze your heel to the butt, look towards your right toe for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift and lengthen three legged. Exhale, knee to the chest, step it through, and then lower your left knee, not your left, your right. All right, check in with alignment, knees over the ankle, and then you shift your hips forward, left hip back. So we just start here, opening up into the front side. The hip. And then take your hands up onto the hands. In your lower ribs, wants to pull in a little bit. And then right hand comes up, hands between the shoulder blades. Maybe you take your hand onto the elbow. I can really feel it from the skull class of the Beyond Bar from yesterday. And then you lift through the heart. We breathe five, four, three, two, and one. Release, frame your foot, shift back, half split. Hold over the front leg, belly in. And we breathe another five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come forward, frame your foot. High plank, sure. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Take your knees down to the mat for a moment and take a seat. So we're going to practice a couple of tuck-ups. So I'm just going to do this as I would do it in class. So check it out. When we do the tuck-ups, um, I do like to shorten my dog a little bit. All right, so this will be my regular down dog. So I take about a, like a foot step in, one foot. All right, I come high to the toes. I bend my knees. See how I'm shooting my hips to the heels? From here, I try to lift my hips over my shoulders, all right? So this can be, so you're just bringing your feet to the butt. Another way, if you started, you can grab a book. You don't have to be a block. You just grab anything at home, all right? You take your, the block closer to the feet. You look between your hands, all right? You bend your knees again, and you just try to hop over the block, all right? And then you can move the block 
closer to your hands. Again, try to get hips over your shoulders and then slowly land. All right. If you are practicing your pipes, go ahead and do so. We're going to take about three, three times to practice it wherever you are. And then eventually you will take your feet between your hands coming into Uttanasana. And fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Coming in to Samasthiti. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. So you have heel to arch alignment. Straightening out your front knee. Hips are open to the long side. Arm reaches out. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, take your hand down to where you find your support. Try to snuggle your right hip underneath you. Lengthening your torso forward and then bring your left hand up and breathe. You breathe for five, four, Three. Two. And one. Exhale, look down, left hand to the hip, bend into the right knee. Take your left, right hand in front and then float your back foot up, coming into Ardha Chandrasana. Same shape we were just in, floating that top hand. Keep lengthening the crown of the head forward for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Bend into the right knee. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Heel to arch alignment, and then open up your arms. Wherever Drasana be, stack your shoulders over your hips, and then pull your heels together. Feel the lift through the bandhas. We breathe five. Four. You two can sit down a little bit deeper. Two. And one. Exhale, hand comes to the inside of your right foot. I like to use my arm to move my knee to the right. At the same time, I snuggle my right hip underneath. I press into the back edge of my left foot. And then for the first five, we're going to reach forward, having an external rotation in your upper arm, pinky to the floor for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, look down, inhale, rise all the way up, straightening out your front knee, and then just reverse your triangle. Create that space and length into the right side. Two more. One more. Inhale, come all the way up. Come back into Virabhadrasana B, Utita and Parsvakonasana. But this time you're going to bring your left hand up. And then turn your palm to the back. Hands to the low back. Again, you can use the strap here. And you wiggle your arm underneath, connecting fingertips. Noticing if you want to sort of come this way, like the butt up and head down. See if you can, again, snuggle the hip underneath you, lengthening yourself forward, and then you twist. So you're rolling the shoulder open. We breathe five. Four. Three. Two. And one, exhale, let it go, hands to the inside, pivot up onto the left toe, taking knee down. And for a moment, we're just going to shift back, hands are still to the inside, and we fold over the leg. So we're just neutralizing the hips for a moment. And then inhale, come forward, and then shift your hips forward. If you can, come down to the forearms, 
And instead of dropping the head down, see if you can reach your head forward and then snug that right thigh to your rib cage. Tuck the left toe under, lift the knee, and then reach the heel back. So you get deep, deep, deep into the inner thigh. We breathe five, four, three, two, and one. Lower left knee down, come back up onto your hands. So from here, you can step it back and vinyasa, or you're going to take your right hand and you're going to wiggle it underneath. I actually going to come around to this, this way, because otherwise I have a wall in the way. All right, so my right hand comes underneath. I plant my hands outside. My left knee is still on top. My, right, my left hand is wide and it's chaturanga arm, all right? Now I lift my knee. I look forward. I come up onto the ball on my right toes. You may stay here again. I'm just open it to the hip, or you reach your, your foot forward. Bend your elbows and then lean forward in your ekapada kundinyasana A for five, four, three, two, and one. Jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now we're going to try that tuck up again to the front of the mat. So shorten your dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and then take your feet forward. Holding it to tuck. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your arms up and over. Exhale, hands to your heart. But now you're stepping right foot back. The torso alignment, open up your arms. Warm up your triceps. Reach forward, exhale, hinge at your hip, take your hand down again to where you find your support. Again, try to lengthen the torso over the front leg. Spin your heart open, right hand up. You breathe five. Four. Feel your bandhas, three. Two. And one, exhale, right hand to the hip, look down, bend your left knee, left hand in front, and then inhale, launch yourself forward, picking right foot off the mat. Stacking hip on hip, Ardha Chandrasana. Make sure that the left toe points forward. Right. Four. Three, two, and one. Bend into the left knee, right foot steps back, heel to arch alignment, knees over the ankle, hips on neutral, pull your hips together, shoulders over the hips, arms out. We breathe. Very good, rest in the B5. Four, three, Two. And one. Exhale, hand comes down. And again, use your arm to move your, your knee to the left. Hip underneath. Length this forward. You have that long line. First one, externally rotate your upper arm, pinky down. Look towards your hand for five. Pull the shoulder back, shoulder back into its socket. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise all the way up, straightening out your front knee, and then reach left hand back. Reverse triangle. Two more. Inhale, come back forward, bend in, take your hand down, so come into Utita Parsvakonasana. This time, right hand up. Take your hand to the low back, you can stay there. 
or you're wiggling around. Again, noticing if your butt wants to stick up. See if you can snuggle it underneath you. Lengthen your staff forward. Pull, keep pulling the heels together. Belly in. Look over the shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take your hands down, pivot up onto the toe, and lower your knee down, and then shift back. All right, so we're coming back, hands to the inside for that little hamstring stretch. Arda Hanuman. Pulling the heart forward. Inhale, come back forward. All right, now from here, you will take your hands We'll come down to the forearms. The toe is pointing forward and you try to snug your thigh to the ribcage. So you may stay there or you chug your toe, you lift your knee and then pull your heel back. Here we are. Look, heart moves forward, look slightly in front of your fingertips for five. Four. Three. Two and one. Lower your knee down and then come back up onto your hands. And then take your left hand underneath. So you're wiggling it under, but you plant it outside. <clears throat> you're lining your right hand up with your left. So both elbows are bent. You tuck your toe, you lift your knee. And again, you might just stay here for those extra breaths. Or you come up onto the tippy toe and reach your left foot forward, lean forward, make a para con yasana A. And then jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your knees down to the mat. Anahatasana, puppy pose. Keeping hips over your knees, walk your hands forward. Sinking heart down, maybe look between your hands. Feel the bandhas, five. Four. Three, two, and one. Walk your hands back. Come back into Adam Mukashvanasana. Take a breath in, breath out. Make sure you're breathing Ujjayi breath. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Big toes together, bend your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to your heart, left elbow outside your right knee. Try to get your knee as high up into the tricep and draw your left knee back. Sit down deep, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthening yourself forward. And then exhale, you're bringing the hands to your heart as you twist it. Or the heart to your hands, more likely. For five. Four. See if you can soften your face. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, look down. Shift your weight into your left, right foot. Bring your left knee to the butt, and then from here, slowly, you step it back, coming into this high lunge twist. That heel is reaching back, firm up your left foot. Inhale, lengthening, try to wiggle your belly past a little bit more. Hands to heart. Good. Two more. Exhale, look down, take your left knee down. So from here, you can either take your hand down, and bring your right hand up. So the left hand is outside your foot. Or you will take, you will have an internal rotation in your left arm and bring it. See how it's on the right leg? And my, I'm connecting my fingertips. So you may stay here twisting, rolling the shoulder open, or tuck your toes and lift. We breathe five, keep twisting deep, four, three, 
two, and one. Exhale, look down, and then from here, you will release, okay? You will heel toe your foot over towards the left, take your shin tight, and sit bone down. So coming in, Ekapada, Rasha, Kaputasana, lift your hips, and exhale, you strike forward. Make five breaths. One. Two. Three. Inhale, come all the way up, come back onto your hands, tuck your toe, lift your knee, and then inhale, right leg up and back, stack your hip open. See how it feels. Maybe you want to flip your dog, taking your foot down, and then inhale, lift your hips, face to the thumbs, and then come back, come forward to high plank, shut around. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take a moment. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, chair pose. Take your hands to your heart and then hook. Right elbow, draw your right knee back, hands start to sit down deep, squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, lengthening and exhale, twist. Bringing the heart to your hands for five. Keep lengthening your spine, four. Three. Two. And one. Look down, weight into the left foot, right heel to the butt. Balance and then slowly step it back. Right, high lunge twist. Firm up your right quad. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, twist. Look over the shoulder. Look down, take your knee down. All right, so you either take your right hand and you may stay here, just bringing your left hand up. Or, yes, left hand. Or you will internally rotate your right arm, bring it onto the low back. Left hand comes behind and you connect. So you may stay here again. Or you tuck your toe, lift your knee, and you twist. Right. And then exhale, look down, knee comes down, unwind, and then heel to your foot over towards the right. Take your shin down, fly in, sit bone. You sit up tall, and then exhale, you start folding. Another five breath. breaths. Make a part of Russia, couple of times. Five. Four. And one. Inhale, come all the way up. And then plant your hands, tuck your right toe, lift your knee. Inhale, left leg up and back. And then stack your hip. And again, you may stay there or drop your foot. And then inhale, lift your hips. Hmm. One thing. And then come back through center, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And come into a child's pose. I'm just going to switch up the live stream before I forget.
Awesome. And if you're in child's pose, make your way back into downward facing dog. Breathe in. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your arms up. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Shift your weight into your right foot. Bring your left knee into the chest. And then cross it over, finding our ambassador legs. All right, so you can keep your left toe down. Try to square your hips as much as you can. Neutral belly in, open up your arms. And then exhale, take your right arm on top. And then inhale, find your lift. Shift the gaze, five. Four. Three. Two. And one, inhale, left knee to the chest, and then step it back, heel to heel alignment. Open up your arms and then take your hands into reverse namaste. So I like to connect my fingertips like this. And then I bring my knuckles, my palm, and I slide them off my back. If you feel that that's not happening, just knuckles is perfect too. Wherever you are, hips are square. Lift your chest, belly in. Exhale, you fold. Leading with your heart. Feel the bandhas press into the ball of your right big toe for five. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come all the way up and take your right hand to the hip, left arm up. Exhale, fold, Parita Chikonasana. Hand comes to the inside, you can take it to the shin. Outside, you can use a prop. Inhale, lengthening forward, exhale, you start twisting. Floating top hand up for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, hand comes down. So here it comes. So if you're practicing handstand, you can take handstands and take five breaths. From there, you're going to transition into a seat, right? If you are not practicing handstands, you can stand in a standing split for five breaths, and then from there you just slide it through and come into a seat. So wherever you are, five breaths, and then you end up in a seat. Come into your seat and extend your left foot out in front of you. You're going to have your right knee to the chest. So option one, Yanushashasana, foot to the inside of the thigh, bringing the knee down. Be on the front side of the sit bones. Or Ardha Vada Padma Pashimodanasana. You will take your right foot to the left. I like to bring it up to the belly and then put it into my, my hip crease. From here, your arm can come around. You sit up tall. Exhale, fold. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come all the way up and take your right foot to the inside and have a little gap. So you have it probably as wide as your hip. Move into your left hand. If you like, if you have blocks, you can bring it to the sides. I'm going to show you two variations. Right, you're going to reach right arm up. Try to keep the sit bone, right sit bone grounded, and then exhale, reach forward. And then try to again snuggle your um, thigh into the rib cage. And then wrap your arm around and try to bind if you can. You can use the strap and fold for five, four, three, two, And one, inhale, come all the way up, and then keep the bind and bring your foot off the floor. 
All right, so you keep snuggling or hugging your, your shin with your tricep. So you either use your blocks, you plant your hands, and you inhale and you lift up. All right, you hold it for five breaths. If you don't have blocks, the floor works perfect. You breathe five, four, hold on. You can come down because I'm going to try to slide through my left leg and see if I can land into Chaturanga. I have never tried this, so I'm going to try it now. All right, you lift up for five, four, three, two, and one. Here you go. You slide. No, I can't. But maybe someone can jump into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. If you don't try, you don't roll when you can, right? Take a breath in. Breath out. It's all about tuning in. Listening, meeting your body, the asana, where you are today. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your arms up and over. Exhale, hands to your heart and shift your weight into your right foot, left knee to the chest and cross it over. Here we go back into ground asana. Left arm comes on top this time. Squeeze your palms together, squeeze everything into the midline, and then move the hands up and away from the face. For five, four, three, two, and one. You bring your knee into the chest and then step it back. Setting up the passport and asana. Open up your arms again. Come into your reverse namaste. Slide your hands between your shoulder blades. Belly in. Lift your heart. Squeeze it in. Opening up through the heart. Exhale. Fold. Leave. Belly in. Five. Oh yeah, I'm on. I'm on. We're on the wrong leg. We have to come back. I don't know if you realized. But here we are. Come back to guard asana. Balance on your left leg. I thought it would make different. All right, here we go. Garandasana. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then right knee to the chest, step it back. Now we open up. All right, we try it again. Come into your namaste. Make sure the left foot is forward. Belly in. Exhale, fold. We're going to have the bonus going last now. Tune in again. Five. Four. Keep pressing your palms together. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come up. Oops. Left hand to the hip, right arm up. Exhale, fold. Abhita Trikonasana to take your hand where you find where it is suited. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, twist open. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, hand comes down and again. If you're not into your hand stance, just do the silent split and slide it through. Come into your seat. You come into your handstand and then transition to your seat. Come through. This time, right foot forward. So if you were going for Yanushu Shasana, half foot to the inside. Or you bring your foot up to the belly, into the hip crease. Try to bring your knee down. So obviously, if this bothers your knee, take the first variation. Left hand comes behind. If you can, hold on to the toe. Here we go. We either fold in Yanushu Shasana or Ardha Bada Padma Pashimonanasana for five. Four, 
And one. Inhale, come all the way up. And then plant your left foot. A little bit about hip width apart. <clears throat> Try to have both feet bones grounded. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, fall to the inside. Turn your thumb down. Maybe you find your wrap, your bind. You inhale, you sit. And then exhale, fold. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come all the way up, and then bring your knee with you. So you're hugging your chin with your tricep. Take the hands by your head, by your side, right? And then maybe you lift the foot up. That might be where you stay. Oops. Four, you lift up for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Maybe you can slide it through and jump back for Chaturanga. I'm certainly not there yet. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then jump through to a seat. And then bring your feet forward. So we're going to start with our um, right shin, so it comes parallel to the mat. And your left foot comes on top, so you're taking the knuckle of your left foot on top of the knee. So you might look something like this. Try to roll to the front side of the sit bone, and it's okay if your knee is lifted. You should be feeling something. Maybe you can find that external rotation into the left thigh. You keep pressing your, your feet out, right? You can hold your hands here if you like. And then exhale, you fold. And knees the massive. Four. And then inhale, come all the way up, and then plant your right foot. I just realized that we did the, the wrong foot first, but that's okay. We're going to do the other one too. So your left knuckle, again, is past you, figure four. You sit up tall, and then take your right elbow onto the foot, and then just cradle the foot. And from here, you can just extend your right foot forward. You really try to get your shin to the chest as your right foot is flexed. You can roll on to that left hip if you like. And then come up. And from here, take your left hand over. And then you grab your foot. And then bring your foot forward. You still have, like you did before, the, um, the armpit or the, the tricep onto the shin. And then pull the hip back. Pull it back. Almost like you can bring your foot up to the air, like a little telephone. You can chat to each other. And you're opening up into the hip. So here it comes. So from here, you're going to take your left hand and hold on to your ankle. You can lean into your right hand and then bring your foot really nice and high. Right. I actually like this variation to come into Ashtabrakrasana. Right, you plant your hands, so almost like we did before, but now your leg is on top. You're going to take your right foot on top and you're going to hook it. So here it comes. You lean into your hands. So there's actually two um, stages in uh, Ashtavar Krasana. First, you're just going to have a little micro bend into to the elbows as you lift up. All right, this is where I'm at. All right, so we breathe here. Let's see how it feels. And then from here, we extend the feet. We straighten the knees, bend the elbows, and look towards the feet. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we come into a seat. Right? You can always take an Ekapada Kodinyasana from there if you like. Take a Vinyasa. 
I'm not. Okay, so again, left foot this time, and then the right foot comes on top. Coming back into Agni Stambhasana. Flex your feet, just feel that openness into the right hip. And then exhale, fold. Walk your hands forward. We breathe five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come all the way up. And then plant your left foot and bring the knuckle past the thigh. You just take your hands behind you. You sit up tall. Try to get the shin to the chest. Left elbow around your right foot. So keep flexing the foot. And then just cradle. You can extend your left foot. Here you are. You sit up tall. And then lean in to the right hip. And then come back up to your seat and then take your right hand and bring all your arm and bring it up, right? So you're hugging the foot in again. From here, you're just going to pull it back, pull it back, and maybe you find your telephone. Mm. It's so good. All right, bring your foot back, take your right arm to the inside and take your hand onto the ankle. You lean into your left hand and try to get your foot hooked up onto the elbow. All right? You plant your hands again. So you squeeze your um, your calf around your arm. You have the little micro band. Right? You pick pick up your left foot on top, so it's hooked. The feet are flexed, and from here you lift up again. This might be where you start. See how it feels. All right? You have a micro band in the elbow, and then you straighten your legs and knees and bend it and look towards your feet. Here we are in Ashtra, we're crossing that for five, four, three, two, and one. And then lower down, take a seat. Nice. And then open up your feet wide for Uvrishta Kundasana. About 45 degrees, you'll be to the front side of the sit bones, noticing if your feet want to sort of turn in or you're going to be pointing out quads are engaged. And the next day, you start folding as much as you can. You breathe for five, four, three, two, And one, inhale, come all the way up and bring the soles of the feet together. Parakonasana. So you're connecting the outer part of the feet. You bring your feet as close as you can towards the groin. Thumbs on the knuckle of your big toes. Sit up tall, exhale, fold. You breathe five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, come all the way up, and then bring your feet forward, flex your feet so you're, it's like a tuning iron, right? The knees, the hip, or the knees comes out, and then the feet or the shins come straight out, right? You slide your arms underneath, so it might be the case where you just hold on to the arches like this and then pull yourself forward, so this variation of Sutta Konasana, or you slide your arms back, so you get your thighs on top of your your triceps. Try to avoid the elbows. You come up onto the heels and you slide yourself forward. Here we are in Kormasana for five, four, three, two, and one. And then inhale. Come all the way up and then lie down onto your back. Satyabhanda Sarvangasana. So bend your knees or bring your feet as close as you can towards your hips. And then inhale, lift up, shimmy the shoulder underneath you. And breathe five. Four. 
three, two, and one. Exhale, lower down. So again, you can take another three. Set the Bandha Sarvangasana, or if you prefer to have a block or a supported bridge, you can go ahead. Or we're going to take three or Radhanarasana. Take your hands in line with your ears and then inhale, press up. Then come down, take a moment, that was number one. Here we go, number two. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower down. Take a moment. Here it comes, number three. Exhale, lower down. Bring your knees into the chest. Make circles. And circle in the opposite direction. And then keep your left knee to the chest, extend your right leg out long. Take your right hand to the knee, left arm out, exhale over towards the right. Keep your hand grounded. And then extend your left arm or right arm straight out of the shoulder. And from here, you're going to turn your palm, your left palm, to the sky. And then on the inhale, you're going to reach it, and you're going to close. You're going to try to touch your right palm with your left palm. And from here, inhale, bring your arm up and over towards the ears. And then exhale, slide it open. Inhale, close it up. And then reach it up and over. One more like this. And then come back to center. Put both knees into the chest. Send your left leg. And then cross it over or roll over to the left. And then start bringing your right palm out. And just for a moment. And then extend your left hand. And bring your right hand to the palm. Close it. Inhale, open up. Bring your hand up. Good. One more. And then bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself one hug. If they head, neck, shoulders, squeeze it all. And then extend your feet out long. So here we are arriving in Shavasana. So take a breath in through the nose. Open mouth. Return to the natural breath.
And then we'll have to stay and start deepening. You were meant to the fingers and toes. Stretch that long and bring the knees to the chest and then coming to a seat. Sit up tall. Listen back into your breath. With a little check in again. Using the space you created in body and mind. New soul. Your hands to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me this morning. And so, always, if you have any questions, feel free to just shoot me a message, and I will do my best to to answer to my knowledge. Um, and I hope you have a beautiful Thursday. I hope the sun will come out eventually. See if these moving layers can, can give up. Um, till the next time, enjoy. Bye.